I'm Hanati, reporting for Kids First. And today I'm live at the Wilshire Ebell Theater for the first Children's and Families Emmy Awards. An expansion of the Emmy Awards competition, the Children's and Families Emmys is a true celebration highlighting the work and achievements of the remarkable talent behind the scenes and in front of the camera from some of our favorite Children's and Families programming. Today I'm interviewing some of your favorite animated voice talents, writers and directors, cast members from your shows we all love and adore. I will also be interviewing the award winners on the Winner's Walk, so stay tuned. Okay, so first, can you just tell me your names and why are you here tonight? Oh, I'm LeVar Burton, and this is my wife, Stephanie Cozart Burton, and um, I am receiving the Lifetime Achievement Award tonight. Woo, okay, well, how do you feel? As, as you might imagine, I feel pretty good. My name is Kyrie McAlpin. I've been nominated for the role Emma Pine for Outstanding, outstanding <laughs> Voice, and I'm just super excited. Being an Emmy nominee is, an ex is a significant accomplishment and career milestone. How do you feel right now? Chaotic, and if you don't know what that is, it is um, a word that I made up, and it means fantastic, it means like this remarkable experiment, it's all the positive thoughts and energy. I'm just like super happy right now. My name is Tom Kenny, and I am the voice of, oh, who's that guy that lives in a pineapple under the sea? Anyway, I can't remember his name. Ow! Oh, geek, right, Gary. SpongeBob SquarePants. You're one of the beloved animated characters of all time. How does it feel to be one of the world's most memorable voices? You know, it's really nice. It's the job that I always wanted to do when I was a kid. You know, when I, I never wanted to be anything other than, a, than an animation voice actor, so... Um, and I get to do that, so it's, it's yeah, I, I, I feel like I'm dreaming half the time. My name is Nonsu Anosier, and I've been nominated for the character I play called Jeopard in a show called Sweet Tooth on Netflix. Is there anything that you've maybe learned from playing your character? Yeah, I think there's a lot you can learn from um, the character Jeopard. I think you can learn that no matter what you've lost, if you don't give up, you can make it in the end. You can find love, you can find your family. And I think that's the great thing about Sweet Tooth, is that family is first. What was your reaction when you found out that you were being nominated for an Emmy? Well, I was on set um, in New Zealand, because we're filming, we're filming um, the next season of Sweet Tooth. And I basically found out from one of the producers, ran on to say, have you been nominated for an Emmy? And I was just, and to be nominated for the first one ever, it's an amazing, it's, it's amazing. My name is Quinn Copeland, and I have been nominated for Outstanding Younger Performer. I was like, oh my goodness, this is awesome. But then when my dad told me, I was like, awesome. Hi, my name is Dylan Gilmer, and also known as Young Dylan, and we're nominated for uh, the Best Host Kids. What part of this evening are you looking most forward to? Um, you know, trying to get the award, of course, and, you know, also having fun, you know, partying with my friends, my cast members. You know, it's definitely going to be a fun moment for us. So my name is Natasha Escobar, and um, I was nominated for um, Outstanding Preschool Animated Series. What was the feeling that you got when you first found out that you were nominated for an Emmy? I was super happy and I think that I like I couldn't believe it. I was like super super excited because I grew up watching the Emmys and watching many award ceremonies and to be here myself it's crazy. Um, it's like watching one of my childhood dreams come true. I never ever thought that I would be here and here I am. Uh, my name is Malia Baker and I've been nominated for Best Young Performer at the Children's Emmys. I feel like with Marianne in particular, okay. speak up. It's really scary. You can see that from Marianne in particular. She doesn't really like to say anything and um, she'll rather cry than say something that's bothering her and it's understandable especially to me when I was younger so I feel like this character kind of helped me reach that goal of I am who I want to be right now and um, I feel like a lot of young girls can watch that and grow up and see that in themselves which is pretty amazing. Hi, I'm Amona Tamata and I'm uh, nominated for Outstanding, what is it, Actor? Uh, actor? Children's Actor? 
there it is. I, I, outstanding performer in a children's team program. Oh my goodness, so many words. What was your reaction when you found out that you were being nominated for an Emmy? Oh my goodness, I was freaking out. I like, I couldn't believe it almost. I was like, is this really happening? Um, but I'm so grateful and I'm so happy that everyone is here. It's, it's going to be such a fun night. My name is Ruby Wood and um, I am nominated for uh, Outstanding Performance in a Leading Role for my role in Better Nate Than Ever where I played Nate. What, what part of this night are you excited for? Oh, I'm excited for everything. I'm just excited to be here, um, like truly. I never thought that I'd be here in a million years, but here I am today, and um, it's very overwhelming, uh, but it's, it's really good. How do you feel to be a nominee for Outstanding Young Performer? Well, I feel very excited. Um, this is a big opportunity. Uh, I am very happy, and I'm also very just appreciative that I was also in a category with such great actors. What's your favorite part about bringing this character to life? Well, my favorite part of bringing the character to life would probably be all the, the, the powers and the emotion you have to put into it because if you don't put enough emotion, not everyone's going to feel it. And if you put enough emotion, people will feel it the way you feel it, you know? I'm Hanadi reporting for Kids First. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel to stay informed about upcoming films. Thank you. Bye.